Hello fellow scapers, I am Tops and welcome to Let's Have a Talk, episode 16, part 1, and the topic of this video will be my RS journey. So in this video I will be talking to you about my journey from becoming a noob back in late 07 to where I am now, because I really haven't informed you guys at all on my RuneScape account, not my RS06 account, and what stats I have, what am I doing on it, do I play, all that kind of stuff I'm going to be discussing in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. I will be splitting this video up into parts, because it's going to be a very lengthy video, and I'm going to try to describe every aspect that I remember from being a noob, from recent playing time, and what my goals were. So, click the subscribe button, like the video, sit back, relax, and enjoy guys. So how did I start RuneScape? I started RuneScape back in late 2007, and I was introduced to the game by my best friend named Jacob. We weren't two good friends back then, but now we're best friends and we hang out all the time. And him and this girl would always talk about this game, and I never knew what this game was called. And one day I walk up to, the, to them and I ask them, what is that game called? And they tell me it's called RuneScape. And probably later that week, I call, him, I call up my friend Jacob, and I ask him, Hey, what was that game called again? And he told me it was RuneScape.com. And that very day, I went to RuneScape.com and I made my first ever RuneScape account. So I, I'm playing the game for a few months now. And out of nowhere, I just stopped playing. I just got bored. And a month later, I realized I haven't played for a whole month and I asked my dad to cancel my membership. Once he canceled my membership, about a week later, I immediately start playing again. And I chopped a ton of logs out of Lumberge. Not a ton now, but back then, that was a ton for me. I probably chalked a few hundred of each type of log. So once I get my membership back to RuneScape, I am able to talk freely. So before I had the quick chat option on, so I could only talk with quick chat, and now I could talk freely. And I was so ecstatic about this, and I specifically remember PMing J my friend Jacob's sister, who played RuneScape at the time, and telling her to tell Jacob that I could talk now. And I was so excited, and I found out that I could talk by just accidentally mistyping something on the keyboard and entering it, and realizing that something popped up over my head instead of saying, you cannot talk. So I was really excited about that. And I also remember I was in Varak Center, right by the castle, and I was killing guards to train combat. Okay, so slowly on, my friend wants to join me on my RuneScape account, and we eventually converged to be both playing on the same account, which was mine. And he would be the one to make all the money, and I would usually be the skiller that would get all the skills up and train the combat, etc. And I remember one day, I was at a blood bell task, and it was in Slayer Tower, and I was just AFKing that a bit. I, was, I think I was watching a YouTube video, and you're supposed to wear leather for that task, like Black Dehyde or Corrells, instead of Bandos, which I was wearing Bandos by accident because I forgot that you were supposed to wear the other stuff to have a better defense because they're a magical melee type of attack. So I was being hurt by them and I accidentally died when I was watching a video and I was flipping out at this point. And this was back when I had to walk quite a big distance to get back to the Slayer Tower and I ended up not making it back in time and I ended up losing a BCP. So that was a good 20, 25 mil, maybe even 30 mil back then and that was a good probably a third or maybe even half of my bank back then so that was a huge loss and then later on that day my friend logs on and he realizes that the BCP is gone and he immediately asks where is the BCP and I start off with just not responding and just like panicking because my initial reaction to losing this was oh let's go runecraft some death runes and make all of this money back so he doesn't notice but he noticed within the first day I don't really know what I expected to do with that but he finds out, and then he didn't log on for probably a few days. And then I'm starting to think what he's doing. And later on I find out he made his own account. Which I kind of urged him to do all the time because I wanted the account to myself. Because it would be a lot really annoying if I wanted to log on, but he would be the one logged on. And I'd ask, hey, can I log on? And usually he would let me. But a lot of times he just wanted to play himself and not have me logged on it. So... After that happened, he made his own account, and he was free to play for like half a year, or I think it was three months actually, and he was free to play, and he worked up his account while I had a good 20 mil bank after he left, and I had that 20 mil bank for a very long time, and I would always have one big item, 
it would be uh, either a BGS, a BCP, or Tassies, or even a Dragon Full Helm, if I wanted to buy that. But I would always have one big item that I would buy. And I remember we had a Dragon Full Helm back when he was on the account. And it was a big, I, it was a big increase on that item. We bought it when it was like 15 mil, and like probably half a year later, it doubled. It more than doubled. So it was, it wasn't even intended as a merchant, but we actually made a lot of money off that. So that's it for part one, guys. If you want to see part two, there should be an annotation on the screen when it is out, and a link in the description as well. So make sure to check that out once it is out. Hopefully, it'll be out sometime tomorrow. So have a fantastic afternoon, guys.